Hi, good morning everybody. I hope all of you are fine at home. Okay, we are continuing our chapter sound. Today we are going to discuss what are the characteristics of sound. Characteristics of sound. You have to understand one thing. The properties and the characteristics of sound are different. Suppose mainly there is a question, what are the properties of sound? Then we can simply say that, number one, for the propagation of sound, we need a medium. Suppose sound travels with a speed of 340 meter per second and <clears throat> sound is a longitudinal wave we can say that is the properties and here we are going to study what are the characteristics of sound there are three characteristics of sound number one is loudness Number two, pitch or shrillness. Number three, quality or timber. Okay. There are three characteristics of sound. Number one, loudness. Number two, pitch. Number three, quality. We are going to understand these three tales. First one is loudness. It is simply hoi. 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 This is loudness. That means we can distinguish a faint note from or faint note of same pitch and the same quality we can distinguish by the characteristics of loudness. Loudness means in Malayalam we are saying that is ucham, uchatri. Bayangar orakkaparayana that is the loudness. Okay, then coming back. Loudness that is one of the important characteristics of sound. By this property or by these characteristics, we can identify a sound. That means we can identify a loud sound from a faint note. Suppose two sounds have same pitch and same quality, then we can identify that sound. Is it louder or is it faint? Okay, that is called the loudness. Can you follow me? <laughs> loudness is always depend on amplitude you have to remember loudness always depend on amplitude suppose we have a sound suppose it is a louder that means its amplitude is high suppose it is faint <coughs> its amplitude is less can you follow we can identify a loud note and a faint note by the amplitude. If the sound is louder, then its amplitude is high. If the sound is fainter, then its amplitude is less. Can you follow me? That's an important point that you have to remember. That means 
loudness means it is a subjective property loudness is a subjective property can you follow me it is related with intensity loudness is related with or connected with intensity and the intensity is an objective property that you have to remember in the case of loudness loudness is a subjective property that means related with the subject and the intensity is an objective property or we can write an equation loudness L is equal to K log 10 I loudness L is equal to K log 10 I here log 10 means that is the logarithm 10 based logarithm L means loudness I means intensity where K is a proportionality constant ok first point is first the characteristics of sound that is loudness loudness means we can distinguish a loud sound and a faint note of the same quality and the same pitch loudness is a property by which we can distinguish a loud note or a loud sound and a faint note of both having the same pitch and quality then i told loudness is always depend on amplitude if the louder sound that means the sound is loud then the amplitude is high the sound is low then the amplitude is also low can you follow me then i told one thing loudness is a subjective property and intensity is an objective property can you follow me loudness is a subjective property and intensity is an objective property and then i told a relation connecting loudness and intensity we have one equation or relation connecting loudness and intensity l is equal to k log 10 i where l means loudness k means a proportionality constant log 10 that is the 10 based logarithm i means intensity okay can you follow me here we can say one more thing that is suppose what are the factors affecting loudness first point i already told loudness is depend on amplitude so you have to remember loudness is depends on amplitude what are the factors affecting loudness of a sound number one loudness is depend on amplitude that means we can write that suppose in the form of an equation suppose we can write what are the factors affecting loudness number one we are going to say that is loudness l is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude i am saying just simple tips to remember loudness what are the factors affecting loudness number one loudness is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude you know the value of amplitude that means l proportional to a square that you have to remember okay can you follow me and second one loudness inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source suppose a sound is producing this is the source a man is shouting this is the source 
and it is here the hearing source and this is the distance b then l proportional to 1 by d square b is the distance can you follow me that means if you go far away then the range of hearing a particular sound from a point that also going to decrease that is l proportional to 1 by d square can you follow me okay then the third point we can say loudness depends upon the surface area of the body loudness depends upon the surface area of the body these two points are very important number one that is loudness what are the factors affecting loudness of a sound number one loudness is proportional to the square of the amplitude number two loudness varies inversely as the square of the distance from the source that means if we move away from the source then the sound becomes feeble and feeble and then i told loudness depends upon the surface area of the vibrating body or the body then loudness depends upon the density then loudness depends upon the presence of resonant bodies okay can you follow me okay is it clear then you have to remember one thing sound level is always we are saying with a unit decibel decibel that is decibel commonly we are saying the sound level of certain objects or of the objects always with a unit of decibel remember it is not the unit of loudness decibel is the unit of sound level can you follow me decibel is the unit of sound level not the unit of loudness okay suppose in the textbook in page number 168 there are many sound level of objects are given suppose a police car siren that is 120 decibel and suppose we are dropping a pin on the ground then the decibel is 0 decibel that is the sound level is 0 suppose we are dropping a pin so commonly our teachers are saying pin drop silence in the class can you follow me pin drop silence in the class what does it mean sound level should be 0 decibel okay always our teachers including me always saying don't make noise pin drop silence in the class pin drop silence means if you drop a pin on the ground then the sound level is 0 decibel that is the pin drop silence okay so it's not we are not saying anything as joke really there is a science behind every terms we are using teachers always saying english teacher malayalam teacher hindi teacher mathematics teacher history teacher economics teacher all the teachers always saying if you are making any noise in the class then they always saying please don't make noise make pin drop silence in the class okay there is a science pin drop silence means then the sound level is zero decibel okay can you follow me and in the text there is a many uh, <coughs> uh, decibel that means sound levels are the soft whisper class the soft whisper again that is the 30 decibel okay then we have to remember one more point that is noise pollution you already know continuously hearing a sound we get irritated okay that means suppose uh, you if you are 
working in a factory or if you are going to watch a factory well, suppose there is a huge sound decibel is high then we get irritated suppose any program is connected now the uh, days of covid so number of programs are very less suppose any public meetings are there then sound is high that means sound level is high then we are getting irritated this type of irritation that is called the noise pollution okay can you follow me this type of irritation is called noise pollution can you follow me then noise pollution will cause that means if you hear a sound constant hearing of sound above 120 decibel constant hearing of sound above 120 decibel it will cause an irritation to the our ears or damage to the ear of the listener can you follow me he is calling noise pollution so we have to minimize the noise pollution okay study well in the next class we will discuss the remaining two properties pitch and quality okay today sir you have to study the properties of loudness that means there are three characteristics of sound first characteristics we already explained that one is loudness okay can you follow me again one thing again i am saying the properties of sound and the characteristics of sound are both are different okay okay study well thank you